Uh, I'm Mikael Kuusela uh, and I'm uh, doing a PhD in statistics here at the EPFL Mathematics Department. I think Lausanne is a really nice place to live. I mean, it's this beautiful city in the middle of two uh, wine-growing regions next to like Geneva, next to the Alps. The very best thing about EPFL is the quality of the science uh, that is being done here. So I say the research uh, that is being done here. And that's of course because of the EPFL community. So everybody here is really good and ambitious about what they're doing. Another thing that I really enjoy about EPFL is really the kind of the cosmopolitan atmosphere in here. So, so EPFL has been many times ranked as one of the most international universities in the world, and I, that really seems to be true. Uh, it's it's such an you know uh, you have people from all over the world coming in here uh, doing research uh, and, and 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 learning about science. Well, our group is a very good example of that. Uh, our professor is, is from Greece. Our postdoc is is American Chinese. I'm from Finland. My PhD colleagues are from Israel, Canada, and, and Italy, and we've had members from various other countries before. So I once actually counted that, that we can collectively speak some like 20 different languages in our group. So I'm studying the statistical um, issues that arise in analyzing of, of data at CERN. So I work in collaboration with particle physicists and I'm trying to develop new statistical methods for analyzing data. So there are two aspects. We've developed new methods, new methodology, uh, new algorithms, but also we're helping them to use the current algorithms better and at least try to avoid some pitfalls that, that they might have. And, and that's another aspect of the work of a statistician is to, is to figure out that once you, you know, you know what are the valid procedures, which one of them is in some sense optimal. What that means essentially is that you can you know, uh, produce better uh, results with, with less data and of course collecting data uh, usually costs quite a lot of money. For example, in the case of CERN, it means running the accelerator for a long time, which is not cheap. At some point during my PhD, I mentioned to my advisor that you know I would be very interested in going somewhere abroad for a while. So, uh, so last autumn, I spent a couple of months uh, doing a research uh, exchange at, at UC Berkeley. Uh, I had a host professor in there. We kind of realized that 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 there is this really nice overlap between uh, our you know uh, views on, on this problem. Uh, and and essentially during that stay, I came up with a new method um, uh, together with, with him. Um, that, that we used to uh, solve this problem. It actually seems to be working very nicely and, and we are now kind of, you know, going further with that. So, you know, what I'm doing is not too far away from methods that are used in genomics, uh, in, in, you know, medical research, economics. So, so there's all these very deep connections and, and usually it's not really the precise application. It's more about trying to understand what is the underlying statistical mathematical problem. And, and then come up with solutions to, to, to that, that problem. And it might actually have even surprising applications in fields that you, know, you might not have imagined before. So this is really the interesting thing about statistics, this interplay between really interesting mathematical problems and also very interesting applications.